Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Savita from Savi's Creations. Decorating your home with an Indian touch is little expensive, especially if you live anywhere outside India. That is unless you are ready to bear the huge cost for shipping. Instead, if you could spend a little bit of your time and creativity, you can achieve the perfect Indian look furniture and decor for your home. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you one such furniture makeover from a very normal looking into a colorful, beautiful ethnic look furniture. Now let's go into the video. One of my returning customers bought this very simple solid wood center table from Facebook marketplace and dropped it at my garage for a makeover. She wanted me to paint this table to go along with other furniture and paint color at her home. She mentioned that this table will be placed at a place in the house with heavy traffic and they also have a small child at home. So I wanted to be extra careful in painting this table. Usually when I use chalk paints, I never sand or prime since it's not needed. But here I did not want to take a chance. So I have first sanded the table with a fine grit 220 sandpaper. Light sanding is good enough. Then I have primed it using a wood primer just to be sure. Before priming, make sure that you have cleaned the furniture thoroughly. I have applied one coat of primer using basic wood primer and nylon brush. My customer wanted me to attach some bells at the edges of the tabletop, but I recommended finials instead of bells. So these are the finials I am going to attach. In order to attach, I have to drill small holes on the underside of the table all along the edges so that the stem of the finials can be inserted in. Before drilling the holes, I have marked the points equidistant so that the finials are equally spaced. The drill bit has to be the exact size as the stem of the finials. The drill holes should be just enough for the stem to go all the way inside. Before attaching the finials, I want to first finish painting the table and the finials. If I attach the finial before painting, it will be difficult to paint the inside edges of the finials. I'm going to use three basic colors for painting this table. The first one is called Curry from Waverly which is like a mustard color, Blue Iris from Debbie's DIY and Imperial Red from Folk Art. I am using colors from different brands since I have them already. You can choose colors from the same or different brands as you wish. The mustard color goes on the center of the table, blue for legs and red on edges and finials. I have applied two coats of all the paint colors and allowed it to dry between the coats. I always recommend people to buy used furnitures from Facebook Marketplace, Goodwill, Thrift Store or from Flea Market. When you buy used furniture, always take notice of the quality of the wood used and the work and not just the looks since it can be deceiving. Because you can always change the appearance of the furniture the way you want it. Now to give a more ethnic look, I will use a mandala stencil work on the tabletop. For this mandala art, I am using multicolors like red and blue. As I always tell, take very little amount of paint on your stencil brush. This is very important for a clean stencil work. For the center of the design, I have used red and as I move on to the edges of the mandala design, I have used blue. For the stencil work on the edges of the tabletop, I am using a part of mandala design. Spacing them equally is very important. So first measure the perimeter of the tabletop and divide it equally to as many parts as you wish. Now place a part of the mandala stencil that can fit inside the equally divided area. I have used blue wherever red is the base color and used red wherever mustard is the base color. That way all the colors will stand out. Mm -hmm. 
Later, to pop up the stencil work, I have outlined some of the stencil design white. For this, I have used bottle technique. I have explained about this technique in detail in my another video where the link is in the description. Once the painting work is done, I have applied a protective coat using water-based polyurethane. For better protection, I have applied three coats of polyurethane and allowed it to dry between the coats. In the meantime, I have painted the finials in red and gold and also applied the protective coat. Once the polyurethane coat has dried, it is time to attach the finials to the table. I have flipped the table upside down, applied some wood glue on the stem of the finials and inserted them inside the holes that I have drilled before. Once the wood glue has dried, I have flipped the table back and it's all done. It is ready to go home. This project is just an idea to transform any furniture the way you want. I feel it is not necessary that you buy new furniture to match the style that you wish. Even if you are ready to spend money, it is not always easy to get the furniture the way you like. You have to wait and spend a lot of time researching. Instead, you can buy a good built furniture from a used furniture shop or online and transform it the way you want with just some touches of paint. This saves both your money and time and gives you huge satisfaction. Hope you like this project and before leaving, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not. Thanks for watching.